We are now less than 45 days from April Fool's Day. What long con pranks should be started around now? Might be late to comment here, but since there are very little long con ones I'll share mine. About 8 years ago I was living in New Zealand. About 2 weeks before I was to leave the country we were sitting around having our staff drinks at the bar I was working at after our shift. Some of my co-workers were talking about bad tattoos, so I chimed in with those are not as bad as the tattoo of the groundhog I have on my ass. Over the next two weeks I managed to talk to people one on one, and slipped in that they would get to see it, if they got me drunk enough at my going away party. Finally the day came, and I got everyone who wanted to see the tattoo on one side of the room. I pull down my pants, and they stare at my ass for a good 10 seconds before somebody says that they cannot see a thing. I look back and say oh, he must have gone back into his hole. We spent 2 months in Europe 2 summers ago, and rented out the house on Airbnb to cover expenses while gone. One of the renters was a film crew that shot a documentary about a local psychopath who killed a few people. The producers needed a home setting where they could interview witnesses and people who knew the guy or victims. There are plenty of interviews of people describing the murders and how evil this person was that clearly show our living room, guest room and kitchen in the background. My wife was not involved in managing the ebb and blisting so, while I mentioned the film crew to her two years ago she never asked what it was about, and I'm sure she has absolutely no idea that this footage exists. I plan on just casually coming across the documentary on April 1st and watch it with her to see her reaction. When I was a kid, my grandma had a ceiling fan very high up with a long string attached. Every week, my dad would come over while she was at work and cut a tiny portion of the string off. After a few months, my grandma told us how she was worried she had osteoporosis and was shrinking because she can no longer reach the string. It was hilarious, but more than that, it was awesome to see my grandma hitting my dad after he told her. I've been sending a picture of a creepy clown to a buddy via text from a Google Voice number for 4 months now. Occasionally with a line, like do you wanna hear a joke? Why aren't you home right now, when I know he's at the bar? He's asked every one of our friends, if it's them other than me, and he now shouts at the bar oh great my ducking creepy clown is texting me again anytime he gets the texts. I've now purchased a handful of items from Amazon like a clown nose, similar wig, makeup kit, and his roommates are going to leave them laying around the house, where he sits on the couch, or in the shared bathroom. Ultimately on April 1st we will be hanging a clown mask in his garage, where they hang out after hours after the bar and we will reveal that it was me doing this. He's either going to be in tears laughing, or will surely murder me. Completely worth it, when I see him freak out from time to time. D. Maybe not a long con, but you'll need a syringe, and I dk how long that takes to get. Anyway in 9th grade, me and my friends always stole each other's food at lunch, when someone got up to go to the bathroom. So one time I filled white lined truffles with ranch and two of my friends vomited. A while back I got an app that could send an error message to a computer with customized text. For a few weeks I would send sporadic messages like monitor error 1003, monitor cinch error, etc. On April Fool's Day I sent the message monitor radiation shield has failed, please step back 5 feet. My great grandpa got his kids to start cracking hard boiled eggs on their foreheads. Then, on April 1st, he gave my great uncle a raw egg. Edit, thanks for the silver. Here's how I convinced a friend his house was haunted. Rainex is the stuff you put on your windshield to keep it from fogging up. Instead, you sit to write on your friend's bathroom mirror various haunting phrases. They go into the bathroom, lock the door, get in the shower, and come out to find someone has seemingly written on their bathroom mirror while they thought they were alone. Get out, help me, something more personal, or whatever you like. Every time you want to change the message, just use some dish soap and then glass cleaner. The old penny trick. I did this to my mom and it drove her nuts. Day 1, you leave a penny in an obvious spot where you'd expect to find a penny and wait for them to find it. Day 2, repeat. Put another penny somewhere else, but obvious. Let them find it. Repeat this off and on for roughly a week. After around a week, they should start to think about it more. Then start leaving them twice a day for the week. 
on week 3, start leaving them in odd spots that penis shouldn't exist. Bathroom sink, window sill, inside their shoes. Get creative. Pillows, inside their pockets, if you can manage it. After a while if done right, it will drive them absolutely mad. I was questionable on its effectiveness when I first started it, but after week 2 my mom was freaking out because she kept finding them. Edit source for where I first heard of this. This is more of a day of situation, but it's too good not to share. At my work we clock in by punching in our employee number. Last year one of my coworkers placed a sign on the time clock that read the time clock has been updated for voice activation. Please state your full name followed by back quote clocking in out. All day I just heard people yelling at the time clock trying to clock in. It was incredible. My manager was in on it too so no one was made late because of it. Just good clean fun. This happened last year, months leading up to April Fools a coworker would send us all photos or just show us photos of his DCK with a fake cockroach on it. He was called into ours, but it was a he said, she said, 6 plus months in the past, and no evidence showing the actual picture text. I figured I would order hundreds of fake cockroaches and stash them around his workspace for the coming months. Those following months were hilarious he never suspected me, he never caught me, but I also gave a ton to other coworkers. Finally, one day he was venting to me about how frustrated he was finding them in his car, in his CNC machine, within his toolbox, falling from his lunchbox, and flying off his windshield when he turned on his wipers, that I turned red and just started laughing so hard I was crying. I'll never forget that luck from him, all those months of him not KOing and complaining to me. Jokes on me though I spent like $50 on fake cockroaches. It wasn't an April Fool's prank, but when I was about 13 I had my best friend come with me to stay at my dad's for the summer. He worked the graveyard shift fixing those old credit card phones on airplanes, and one night we were getting goofy from staying up way too late and my friend thought it would be hilarious to hide every one of our just laundered socks around the house, in the fridge, in the coffee pot, literally everywhere we could think he'd find one at 5am, when he got home. For some reason, after my friend passed out, I thought it would be even funnier spoiler, it was. If I went back and collected all the socks, put them back where we got them, and pretended like it never happened. I found every single one of the probably 40, 50 individual socks we hid and went to sleep. The next morning he giddily runs downstairs and asks my dad so, how do you enjoy all those socks? Dad naturally had no clue WTF he was talking about, and I played it completely straight to the point he was convinced he had the most ridiculous dream ever. I didn't tell him right away, because it was too damn funny. After we got back when summer was over, I told no one, not my dad, not my mom, none of my friends, and my friend would bring it up once in a while and his version of the story was so well told and hilarious that everyone always got a kick out of it, so I just kept my mouth shut and laughed along haha. Eventually he went into the air force mind you, that was after a good 5 years since the sock dream and I didn't see him for probably another 4 years. This man told this story to every one of his armed forces buddies over that time, and so many friends before that. For almost 10 ducking years I let this go on until finally, when he came back to visit after he was out of the force he had a big family welcome home party and the story came up again at this point many people there had heard the story a hundred times and still loved hearing it, and I finally told him man. Everyone there, some of which were my own family, and I still had never told a single soul the true story, that the whole thing actually happened, and that I had collected every sock afterwards, I don't think any of us laughed that hard in our entire lives, it was such a stupid thing, but his version was so hilarious, but it became such an epic thing, that we both still love telling the story of the sock incident to this day haha, edit, thanks for the silver. I might have to do a longer retoop of this and post it as its own thing as someone suggested. Edit 2. Also thanks for the gold. I'm glad so many other people found this story as funny as we have over the last 20 years. This didn't happen for April Fools, but I did recently have a very long con that worked better than planned. My friend got me with a glitter bomb one time, which she watched me open in my bedroom, right next to my bed. I still found glitter 3 years later, when I moved apartments. The BTCH 
When it happened, I knew she would be wary of a counter attack, so I waited. And I decided not to just wait, but to lonk on her. I knew she liked candles, so I went for simplicity. I got her a candle that smelled great at first, but eventually burned down to smell awful. Not after an hour, mind you, but after quite a bit of it burned off giving a very pleasant apple pie scent. Months went by, and I would see it at her place. Burned a little, but not too much. Occasionally I would notice it getting lower, but it was slow going. I got disheartened when I didn't see it any longer until I noticed that she had moved it to her bedstand right by where her head would be when she slept. AWW, so sweet. She liked my gift. Cut to many more months having passed. Almost 2 years since I first got her the candle, I get a bunch of angry texts late at night. You asshole. The ducking candle. It reeks in my bedroom. My magnum opus had finally been achieved. It turns out that she had brought her date home that night and put the candle on to set some ambience. As they're getting hot and heavy, they start to smell what she described as pure sewage. It took them 5 minutes to figure out it was the candle and not some sort of sewage backup. Then the smell lingered for an hour. In the end, the guy was a good sport and recognized a quality prank when he sees one, so it didn't ruin anything between them, but to have a long con end that spectacularly was just better than I could have ever hoped for. Edit, whoa. I went to bed, and woke up to this being my most upvoted comment ever. Thanks for the gold too. Someone in the comments already posted the right LNK, but if you haven't found that, this is a type of candle I ordered.